Thank you, Headley, for that uh, kind int introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's great to be presenting here today uh, at uh, the Resources Rising Stars Conference. I'd like to thank Nick, uh, Nicholas Reid and his team for putting this event on. Uh, this is the first time I've actually spoken here, and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you'll enjoy our introduction into the Fling Gold. Fling Gold is a company that's been listed for a little while now, and really, I think, uh, uh, what, where we're standing at the moment is uh, at the beginning of an exciting opportunity for investors who are looking to be part of the next high-grade gold discovery in a Tier 1 jurisdiction. If you'd like to learn more about Flynn Gold after this uh, presentation, please come and see me at our booth. Uh, we're just outside the door, strategically placed, you, placed you can't miss us. And I also urge those who are um, interested to grab their mobile phones uh, click on the QR code on the screen here. It will pop up later on if you don't get a chance to get it now. Uh, that will get you to uh, subscribe to our um, um, investor hub and our email alert list so that you get uh, put on, uh, main, kept up to date with all of our exploration activities and uh, announcements. Uh, the important disclaimer is there for all to read uh, at your own time. Okay, as I said, uh, Fling Gold are listed in June 2021, so we've been going for about three years now. Our focus when we listed, and certainly uh, today, is uh, focusing on gold exploration in Australia, particularly in Tasmania. The company holds about 1,000 square k's of licences in ta Tasmania, predominantly in the northeast, uh, which is interpreted to be an extension of the Victorian gold fields. And I'll talk more about that. Uh, since listing, we've drilled a number of drill holes at project locations uh, with the emerging Golden Ridge project, our flagship asset, uh, producing the best results to date. At Golden Ridge, our drilling programs have achieved some outstanding results, including several intersections of uh, mineralised veins carrying well over 100 grams per tonne gold. And this is giving us great confidence that Golden Ridge, we've identified a gold system of significant scale. And for investors, this means this is a great time to get on board as we continue to advance our exploration on this project. Our ticker code is FG1, and I think we're uh, highly leveraged to exploration success. Right, uh, corporate snapshot for you here. Uh, the main takeaways from this snapshot is cash at bank at 30th of June was just under $3 million. Our market cap today is around $7 million, which gives us an enterprise value of about four. Our top share shareholders on the graph there, you can see uh, Lauer Resources Fund uh, is sitting at 4.4% uh, holding. Um, they've been uh, supporters of us from seed through to the latest capital raising and maintain their equity position. And John Forward, who is uh, the Chief Investment Officer of Lauer uh, uh, Fund, is uh, on our board, which is um, great for us. Uh, John gives us a, a great insight into how the market uh, is going and, and certainly provides a lot of uh, sage advice. Um, our other board members, Clive Duncan, has spent 40 years working for Bunnings. He, uh, he was their chief operating officer at the end uh, and provides a very good uh, perspective on big business. And Sam Garrett, our geologist uh, with a number of discoveries to his name, is the, uh, the other member of the board uh, today. So why Tasmania? Well, the key reason um, is that the Lachlan Origin, which hosts the prolific Victorian gold fields and where over 80 million ounces of gold has been derived to date, extends into Tasmania and certainly into northeast Tasmania. And with the, re <coughs> with the reinvigoration of exploration in Victoria last uh, decade uh, with the uh, rich discoveries at Fosterville, um, and which has uh, been evidenced with more recent discoveries like Southern Cross Gold's drilling at Sunday Creek, which has seen their share price increase by sixfold in 12 months and their market cap go to two, uh, $600 million, um, which is, uh, as I said uh, earlier, our market cap is about 1% of Southern Cross, Cross Gold's. So the opportunity for us with our discoveries uh, to leverage, I think is, is very good. <clears throat> So gold was first discovered in northeast Tasmania, uh, the same year as the Victorian gold rush uh, kicked off in 1852. Uh, it's certainly a geological extension. The main mines in northeast Tasmania that have produced gold are Beaconsfield, which operated in the 1870s through to the First World War, and more recently, you can see the grades and uh, 
um, amount of ounces pulled out of there. It's about almost two million ounces to date. And then closer to home at Mathina, where the new Golden Gate operated up until about 100 years ago, and they pulled out a quarter of a million ounces at a grade of about 25 grams per tonne. So the mineralisation that's been mined historically in the northeast is very high grade. This is a map showing the northeast of ta Tasmania, and uh, as you can see, Golden Ridge is located about 10 kilometres north, east northeast of the historic mines at Mathina, uh, and that is the main focus of our, pro uh, of our uh, exploration activities at the moment. And I'll really focus on Golden Ridge for the rest of this presentation. Uh, this um, the, the project has significant gold potential, with shallow uh, old mine working is extending over a, a six-kilometre zone at Warrantina as well where we've also been doing some exploration, which that is our second project. And then our third project, really, um, we've just acquired the exploration licenses at Beaconsfield, surrounding the old Beaconsfield gold mine. Uh, and whilst we don't actually uh, have, have tenure granted yet, there's about a 10 to 12 kilometre strike length of mineralisation, of the, um, of the mineralisation which hosts the Beaconsfield gold mi mine, which has really been poorly explored to date and we're looking forward to getting on the ground once that exploration licence is granted. So before proceeding further, I just want to talk a little bit more about Tasmania. First of all, the mining industry in Tasmania gener generates about 60% of all the uh, export earnings. This comes from mining mainly in the northwest. The state government is very supportive, obviously, of mining, and we've certainly, where we're operating, we're operating largely in state forest. The Mines Department is very supportive of us. We can get permits to go and do our exploration activities in days uh, or weeks. It doesn't take months, and we certainly don't have a lot of hoops to get through. And from an ESG point of view, Tasmania is uh, almost 100% renewable, en renewable energy through their hydro dams. So onto the project itself. Golden Ridge shows all the hallmarks of being a large intrusive-related uh, system with scale. Uh, the geology there you can see is a, um, in the pink uh, is the large younger granodiorite which is pushed through and created uh, a uh, environment where mineralisation has come through along that margin. It's weathered away and then you've got the uh, sedimentary rocks surrounding it which are, uh, have uh, um, not er eroded as quickly and the mineralisation occurs in there. Since we got the ground, we've done some diamond drilling at two main locations, being uh, the Briant uh, area, and uh, you can see the Trafalgar area shown in, in uh, yellow there, uh, where we've done the most drilling and we've got results uh, still pending. We've also been doing a lot of soil sampling, and in the next uh, video, I'll show you uh, the results of that soil sampling, which have really um, highlighted a lot more targets for us, where we've done some RC drilling with some uh, encouraging results. This video will now sort of run through and show you uh, Okay, we begin with a flyover in this video, uh, which shows you the terrain we're operating in at Golden Ridge. Um, beneath the trees, we've been finding all that high-grade mineralisation. This shows Golden Ridge and our uh, portfolio in northeast Tasmania, as well as our other projects which include gold as well as uh, uh, energy metals. That gives you a view of Golden Ridge with the plantation on the right. And as I said, Tasmania is a dynamic uh, environment for mining operations. Here's the exciting potential of our, with new gold discoveries in uh, northeast Tasmania because of the same geology on both sides of Bass Strait. 80 million ounces out of Victoria and less than 3 million ounces so far out of northeast Tasmania. So since mining stopped 100 years ago, these shafts and old adits have patiently waited for us to come along and apply new exploration techniques to try and make the next discovery. Exploring in northeast Tasmania has never really been easier with excellent network of infrastructure, good roads. Uh, you can see our headquarters here at Scottsdale, which is centrally located to our main projects at Golden Ridge, Warrantina and Beaconsfield. We'll now start to examine the geology in more detail, which, as I mentioned, consists of a granodiorite intrusion of significant scale. You 
You can see the granodiorite contact, which we've mapped there through our modelling. And this is the soil sampling uh, which we've completed to date over the, over the uh, area. With historic mines of Brilliant Trafalgar, you can see shown up there as well, well as several new locations such as Trafalgar North and the Link Zone. There is a nine kilometre uh, trend of mineralisation showing up on that contact and it's open in all directions. With the soil sampling ongoing, we expect to uh, find more targets. This is some rock chip sampling results. Uh, Brilliant had over 500 grams in a rock chip and Trafalgar over 200 grams. Uh, and <clears throat> the view of the drill holes that have been drilled to date are shown on this uh, view. You can see uh, diamond holes in green and the RC holes we've drilled to date, just a handful of them shown in yellow. And this is our vein model. It's taken, uh, been working on this for about a year now. Uh, you can see the, um, uh, the veins which we've developed. We haven't produced any ore reserves at this stage, but they certainly will be the, the basis of mineral resource estimates coming forward. And the pink shows the granite uh, contact which we've modelled. The first thing to appreciate about this is the scale. It's three kilometres from Brilliant in the west to Trafalgar in the east. And during uh, drilling at the Trafalgar Prospect, we've had some impressive results to date. You can see there, there's about five intervals there which are at well over 100 grams per tonne, the best being 12 metres at about 16.8 grams per tonne, including 0.7 at 152 from about 100 metres depth. Three, mains have been, three main veins have been identified to date, Trafalgar Magazine and Trafalgar South veins. And then at Trafalgar North, we've uh, mapped some uh, old water races and uh, historical workings with some significant results and modelled some veins there, which we're drill testing at the moment and should have some results out shortly. The scale of the Trafalgar deposit so far is quite large. It's about 600 metres long, and we've drilled down to a depth of up to 500 metres vertically, and it's open in all directions. And what's really exciting about it is we're getting gold in both the granites and in the sediments right along the contact, which means all the way along that contact potentially we'll have gold in both locations. When we look further to the west at uh, the link zone, uh, there's an old adit we discovered. It's a 130-year-old Golden Ridge adit, they call it. And in that 150-metre long tunnel, which is shown in blue there, we sampled and got up to 64 grams per tonne gold. There's only one RC hole be drilled through that, uh, which we assisted in the modelling, so we look forward to drilling that further going forward. And finally, at the Brilliant Zone, we've got uh, grades recorded there, uh, not as good as Trafalgar, because I think we're away from the granite contact, but certainly there's uh, a number of veins we've mapped there. So you can see that, once again, a large uh, system. Overall, We've got a prospective zone, which is three kilometres long at the moment between uh, Brilliant and Trafalgar. The vertical extent, when you take in the elevation differences, uh, is about 800 metres. So by comparison, uh, what we've got uh, here at um, uh, Golden Ridge is about the same size as the Henty Gold Mine over in um, Western Tasmania, which has been mined since 1996. And they've pulled out uh, almost uh, one and a half million ounces of that today. So what can the shareholders look forward to over the coming uh, days, weeks and months for Fling Gold? Uh, we've got drilling uh, results still to come. We've got trenching and sampling activities going on at uh, Trafalgar North and Grenadier over on the western side. And we've also got uh, further drilling planned at the link zone uh, where we think uh, the granite contact is very close and certainly um, uh, the uh, RC drilling we've done to date is very encouraging. So all these uh, activities should enable us to provide uh, an initial exploration target for the Golden Ridge project sometime shortly, which I believe will be an important um, milestone for the company, uh, considering we've only been uh, in operation for about three years. We'll also be undertaking exploration activities at our other projects uh, over the coming months, such as at Warrantina and, Be and hopefully Beaconsfield. And finally, you can see there, um, in summary, we're a gold explorer focused on multiple high quality assets in a high, uh, in a, a number one tier, a tier one jurisdiction. Uh, we're highly leveraged for uh, discovery success and uh, we've got a great board and technical team uh, backing me up. So once again, there's the QR code if you want to uh, click, uh, click on it. If you haven't become a Tasmanian bug after the last few minutes, uh, um, hopefully you will be if you come and see us. Thank you for your time this morning and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference.